Hi, everyone. I am Natalie from Baby Boldly. Our company sells the first truly comprehensive, non-toxic, pre-packed hospital birth bag. Hi, everyone's saying hi. Awesome. I love the interaction. Thank you. Some of you I have met in our virtual booth already. Some of you, yes, are new. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, thank you for sharing all the excitement. Very good. Hi, Rachel. Yes, I recognize a lot of these names from yesterday and earlier this afternoon in our virtual booth. Um, my co-founder, Megan, is going to be joining us shortly. I'm going to get us started. Yes, need to start getting the birth bag put together. Perfect. Well, um, I'm going to get us started here. We only have about 20, 25 minutes together. So um, I'll get you um, introduced to our new brand and our product line and how we can help you better prepare for birth and basically throw away the checklist that you have been utilizing to pack your birth bag and cross check it with other checklists and just have it delivered to your door. Um, and then talk about other ways that you can spend your time rather than checking checklists, cross checking checklists, ordering and shopping for all the things that you think you need for your birth bag, then making sure it fits in the perfect bag and then all of that. I'm gonna let you know about some other ways that you can stop packing and start preparing for birth. That's one of the primary reasons why we started offering a truly comprehensive, non-toxic pre-packed hospital birth bag that ships directly to your door. So um, I'll get started and Megan will be popping in here at some point and she's gonna give you um, a look inside the bag, a look at the bag, in the bag, all the contents that are in the bag. Hi, Megan. There she is. She's here. Yay. Hi. Can you hear me? <laughs> this is Megan Mangushino. She is my co-founder of Baby Boldly. Megan, I was just um, introducing us, letting everybody know what we're going to be talking about. And um, if you have the chat box on the stage side, you can see all the hellos and excited to hear what we have to say and learn about our product offering. And um, some of these lovely mamas we have, and some, I think there's some grandmothers too, I met over the last mm -hmm. day or so in our virtual booth and they're joining us today for our, for our talk for the next couple of minutes. Yeah. Okay. You can hear me okay, right? Yeah, we can hear you, see you Good. great. Good. Awesome. All right. So we're based out of Jacksonville, Florida. And Megan and I co founded Baby Boldly as two friends who were experiencing the challenges of new motherhood together. Um, I have a six year old girl, and Megan has a, he'll be four tomorrow, a Cinco de Mayo baby. Oh. And then I have an almost three year old. And then Megan um, has just passed a newborn. She's five months old now. Is that right, Megan? That's right. Yep. Yeah. So between us, we have four babies. And um, we knew that we could have had a healthier transition into parenthood if we'd had two things. And that's access to more information and more support. And we're betting that if you've been through pregnancy and birth before, you can attest to this too. And for those of you who are expecting for the first time, I know we've got a lot of mamas here who are expecting their fourth baby, which is really cool. But for those of you who are expecting for the first time, you can lean into some of this wisdom of some of the mamas who have gone before you. So we couldn't help but wonder how much better 
our introduction to motherhood could have been if we'd known more and had access to the support that we needed. Knowing more about how capable your body is of birth and recovery from birth and how many options you have to choose from if something goes wrong, that we have the right to advocate for ourselves in our prenatal visits and on the birthing table or floor or bathtub, and that we should hold our caregivers to a standard that expects the mama's interest to be top of their mind. And this will help prevent malpractice, traumatic birth experiences, poor birth outcomes, and some maternal mental health disorders that can come from a myriad of things that can start with the preparation for birth. So um, when I gave birth to my firstborn baby, I experienced, I shared an experience with one in five moms in America and that is a maternal mental health disorder. And it just so happens to be that this week is Maternal Mental Health Awareness Week. It's Mental Health Awareness Month in the month of May, and this first week is dedicated specifically to moms and their maternal mental health. And so um, if you haven't heard of the Blue Dot Project, they are the ones who host this week. And if you don't know about them, you should definitely check them out. They are a beautiful organization that is working really hard to change the stigma and the shame that has been long thought of against new moms who have just really struggled with new motherhood. And that these are things that can, in some cases, be prevented. And they are definitely things that can be screened for and they are things that can be treated. And um, so that's just kind of a something that's interesting about how this first week is, is coming together. I definitely so the back to link. my personal story, my, my much disorder was um, life changing. And the way that I felt like I could do something about it was to start this company and try to provide products and services and have conversations and offer content in the care and the transition of moms into motherhood. So um, in doing that and building that business, I got pregnant with my second baby and just as much of a pain in the butt and just as daunting as the first time, which really bothered me because I thought, well, geez, I've already done this before. Why is this so hard? Well, because, you know, as a new mom, you're trying to do all the things. I had a toddler running around. I thought, well, help me, you know, maybe some things have changed in the last couple of years since I packed my last birth bag. So I thought, surely there's somebody who can just do this for me and I can just go online and I can order a birth bag. That would really save me some stress. So I went on to Google and I searched pre-packed hospital birth bag. There was nothing. Oh, disappointed. I continued to pack my own birth bag. But before I did that, I pitched the idea to Megan, my dear friend and business partner. And I said, what do you think about us making this available to moms. Let's make this first thing that's on her plate that starts to really wear down on her confidence and her sense of, I can juggle all these things and not from having cross-checked all these lists and packing a bag that she's not sure if she's got the right things or not, whether she's a first time mom or she's a fifth time mom. 
And Megan loved the idea. So while I was pregnant and on maternity leave, um, we, we searched high and low and tested and uh, on ourselves and offered a focus group for some of our friends and a preview party when we got all the bag bits and pieces together. And this was really um, a bag that was affirmed by other moms in our local community. And Megan is going to go further into all of the details of the bag and um, the inclusions and uh, what makes the bag extra special and all of that good stuff. All right, cool. Thanks. Um, so, you okay. What are these other things that you can do aside from checking and checking and checklisting? and shopping and ordering and filling up shampoo bottles and you know the little travel size bottles of your favorite shampoo and laying awake at night with pregnancy insomnia and wondering if you got all the right things well there's there's quite a few things and we hope that by giving you access to these pre-packed birth bags that are packed by two moms who have gone before you and know exactly what you need and are selling them at price points that meet all different budgets. Everything in it is something that you will absolutely use and nothing that you won't use. And each bag provides more and more comfort. But have a more comfortable stay at the hospital. So what are some of these other things that you should be doing with your time other than, of course, the things that you're already responsible for? Maybe you're already a mom and you have a toddler running around or um, you're balancing a job. Right now you're balancing a global pandemic. A lot. So with knowing how challenging it can be to give birth and have a great outcome, especially in America, we believe that we're saving you time from packing this bag and checking the checklists and buying all the things and worrying about it and giving you time back in your schedule so that you can do things like, what kind of birth do I want to have? It's okay to think about those things. And um, and there's a lot of different options. Um, we offer um, several um, in-depth free downloads on our website, babyboldly.com, where you can um, get some helpful, like, different birthing style options. So um, there's things like Lamaze. I'm sure you've heard of that before. There's the Bradley method. Um, you know, we talk about having nitrous oxide as a part of your birth experience. Um, cesarean sections. And a lot of this is, you know, it's unbiased information. It's just making it more accessible so you know what all of these options are. Thanks, Megan. I see Megan is in the chat box answering some of your burning questions and comments. So thank you for that. Absolutely. So, yeah, take some time to think about those things, right? Don't spend all your time packing a birth bag because that's not the end game. Think about visualize it. What do you want your birth experience to be like? And utilize, if you don't have other resources available, go to our website and utilize those free downloads to understand more about what those birthing styles are and do some research on them. There's clickable links on them where it'll take you to the official website of each of those birthing 
styles and who started them and gives you the background on it and the benefits and the risks and all that good stuff. And make those decisions. Take time to do that for yourself because the way that you prepare here is it matters a lot in how you're going to experience birth for yourself and for your baby, of course. Um, some other things are preparing for your postpartum period. This is something that is often overlooked, right? We, we plan a shower, maybe it's in person, maybe it's virtual, maybe it's a drive-by, maybe it's in person, maybe you skip it all together. But we spend all this time, right? We build this registry. You're, you're learning about a lot of awesome things to put on your registry and ways to prepare for baby. But what are you, what are you doing and how much time are you spending focusing on how you're going to live into these early days of motherhood? Because that's, that's the challenge. And there's no epidural for that. <laughs> And there's not enough sleep. And it oftentimes feels like there's not enough time and not enough help to go around. At least that's the way it seems to be for most of us. So again, we have a free download available on our website that you can, that you can um, download from our website that talks about all the ways that you can prepare from pregnancy through postpartum. But spend some time thinking about what can I do to better prepare myself for the postpartum period where I finally had the baby, right? We do all of this preparing for the baby to be here. And what does the baby need? And what's the nursery going to look like? And what's in my birth bag? And is that right? And, you know, how's the dog going to react to the new baby and all these things? Because we're moms and we're responsible for thinking about all the things, but don't forget to take some time and think about you and how you can live into those early days of motherhood with less pain, less stress, because that's really important, that recovery process. Your body will do what it needs to do, but if it doesn't, or if you're pushing it too hard and too fast, you need to have things in your house for you or people available on speed dial on your phone, professionals that you can reach out to that will help you through those things. Um, lactation consultants, a mental health therapists, if you need to talk to somebody. A lot of this can be done virtually now. So take time to think about how you can plan those things out. Those are just a few examples. I'm gonna turn it over to Megan now to show you Belly and Bag, that's our signature products line of non-toxic pre-packed hospital birth bags that we ship directly to mamas. If you're ready, Megan, and yeah, thanks, live Natalie. on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> live we just need to get your camera. Okay, can, ever, can everyone hear me? And yeah, we I can, can. I can hear you. Okay, and my camera's on, right? Um, I can't see you. Oh, you're a gray screen. Yeah. Oh, well, honey, you're a gray screen to me. So. <laughs> oh, no. no. Okay. You guys can see. see. Okay. All right. Well, listen. Okay. Hi. Can I, I see you just refresh. I can see you just refresh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, luckily, Natalie and I know what each other looks like. So it doesn't matter that we can't see each other. <laughs> yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everyone else could see you. <laughs> yeah, totally. So I am kind of set up here in front of what we would normally have for our live booth. If we were at a live expo, you guys would see all this kind of behind us. Um, so I'm trying to show you everything here. I think that's all in screen now. But um, basically with our, um, with our product here, I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the bag itself so you can kind of get an idea for like size of it. I'm gonna put it on my shoulder so you can get a good idea. So it's like kind of your standard weekender size. It's it's a it's a healthy size. There's um, we, even with our fully prepared, uh, uh, which is all of our contents, you can still kind of grab a couple extra things if you want to throw in. So 
what we've done is um, we designed first and foremost um, a, a a kind of concept that we want to take something off your to-do list, as Natalie had already said, and, and do do all the thinking and all the research for you. So you literally don't have to do anything else. If there's um, anything that we can't pack for you, we've put it in a um, checklist as a reminder for you to throw it in yourself. That's like your driver's license and uh, insurance cards and all of those mm -hmm. fun things that we can't actually include for you. But other than that, this is really meant to be um, an item that we pack, we ship it directly to your door, and it, it frankly can stay there until you're ready to walk out on your way to the hospital. So the bag itself, we've designed um, really, you know, with, for mom, not for baby. So it's really meant to um, be something that you love to carry regardless of, of what's inside um, and grow with you into um, motherhood. So we've got a, you know, it's wipeable, it's nylon. Um, we've got kind of your traditional, um, I don't know if you can see that it's a little dark, your traditional sort of diaper bag um, inclusions in that it's got a, uh, you know, the, the different pockets, you know, you've got bottle pockets in here. You guys probably can't see that. And I love this part that it actually like stays open. So when you're packing it, it just stays open. You throw your stuff in. So it's mm -hmm. um, meant to kind of grow with you back to work pumping bag um, and or, uh, you know, week away. And then everything behind me, you see, we, we, we do three tiers. So we start with our minimalist bag. Um, and then we go to our happy medium and then are fully prepared. The the minimalist bag is kind of like those um, essentials that you need. That's going to be your, your toiletries, right? Um, if you want to take a shower, you got shampoo, conditioner, soap, all of that stuff. Um, and that post first postpartum shower, I have to say, is like the most amazing thing on earth. Um, and then you've got, you know, deodorant, tooth toothbrush, toothpaste, a hairbrush, grip socks. But we kind of gone the extra mile and like try to make it fun and cute so i'm wearing a shirt but we put it on your sock right so we want to um not <laughs> only are you not only are you prepared but you also you know feel um like yourself right and and feel um like you've got a little bit of you know inspiration and confidence behind you from other moms that have done this before because you can too um, we include in all of our bags um, a changing pad, so that kind of helps this bag grow into, um, like I said, to become like a large diaper bag if needed. It's in our signature teal color, um, which is <laughs> really popular. We include phone charger, um, a reusable water bottle. We've got, uh, someone asked about a book. We include this really cute book. Mm -hmm. um, by Liz Climo, that's just like, we'll make you laugh and then we'll make you cry all in one sitting and just nice kind of entertainment <laughs> while you're there that, you know, doesn't have to be, um, you know, screen time, a little quiet entertainment. Um, one of the best inclusions I think is our towel. Um, you, you may not know this, but you're gonna get basically a ratty old rot washcloth. <laughs> for your towel um so we we include a nice cozy towel um that that uh makes that kind of first shower so much more comfortable and then over here i'm gonna pull it over so you guys can see it we have a robe and a nursing cover so like you know right now it's a little bit you know probably not as many guests are coming to the hospital with you because of covid and whatnot um, but if you do happen to have some guests and you're in the middle of feeding and you don't feel comfortable, don't interrupt your feed. You can put this on and, and still continue to feed baby or we're fans of Baron at all anyway. So, you know, to each their own. And then you can, <laughs> um, then you can use this as a infant car seat carrier cover. So a lot of dual purpose and all of these items, lots of value kind of beyond what just your labor and birth experience will be. And this robe, I have to say, I lived in this thing postpartum. It's got these cute. I don't know if you can see that like lace trim on the bottom and it's one size fits most. It's um, we try to keep everything kind of um, neutral, but, but stylish. So um, customizable options I'm, I'm seeing. So we have the three tiers and then we've got two colors. So we've got our teal and then the gray, which I showed you. Okay. And then we also have the option to add some um, mama labor gowns. 
um, and a ba and baby gowns as well, which are super cute. And those are kind of add-ons. Um, and I apologize, I don't have any here to show you guys. But you can, there's a lot of cute pictures on the store. They're super, super soft. So that's a really popular thing people are also throwing in their bag because it's just more comfortable than what the labor gown you're going to get at the hospital. They will give you one, so it's not like you don't have to have it. But, um, or you can just be like me and just be bare naked through your entire labor. <laughs> Um, but uh, they are really great, and then they're also really comfortable to wear, like just those first couple of days after you give birth, because they have quick nursing access and whatnot. So those are kind of the customizable options you can add in. And we also have some cute jewelry and some fun tumblers and whatnot that are like other things to throw in. Okay, what else? Um, so don't fit on. Okay, so I the the robe is actually. Because it's just like a simple crisscross robe, um, I wish I could put it on for you, but it really does fit well. I have some really, really petite friends that have worn it, and, and it does not look like it's swallowing. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say I wouldn't be concerned, and it does also accommodate for that nine-month belly. So, um, yes, so I would definitely recommend washing um, the robe and the towel uh, before they all wash really well. Um, and so uh, I would just because I like to, but you, you don't have to, if you don't have time to, um, but, but I would, and then same for a uh, nursing cover, kind of like any of the fabric type things and they all wash very well. So it's not like it's going to be a ruined because we don't have time for things that don't wash well. <laughs> um, other right. than that, I, I don't know if I have time to go into every single other continued item. I don't know if I'm going to get cut off, but. Um, we've got, you know, nursing um, pads. Uh, we've got nipple balm that's going to help kind of soothe any soreness that you might have. That's a badger balm. It's organic. We really try to give you the very best of the best products. These are all products that we personally used and loved. And then we also have done focus groups with other moms and had them score on all of our inclusions and made sure to bring you really the most loved products that you're going to want to try. Um uh what let's see i'm not i missed the question i'm so sorry um it's okay i'm i'm getting back to her um okay. she asked if we have any suggestions for what dads or partners should pack because somebody yes. asked if that is available oh i see so you're answering so. there yeah so we do have a, a dad yeah, I, I, baby I didn't mean for it to come across as a separate answer every time but it is so yes and you show the charger yep okay so it's, great question sheila it's universal so it's it is it's short i will tell you that so if you want um an extender you know that some people do you know get kind of like cord that's really long which i totally understand ours is though it's universal it's going to get the job done which is great and then um, it comes in this, it also has a phone charger that comes with it as well, in case you need it um, on the way there to call the doctor and say you're on the way. And then um, it comes in this little bag, which is, I don't know if you can read that. Um, can I see how big the toilet is? Sorry, sure. So they're like a one size toiletry. These are more kind of like your sample toiletry size, but you can get a, a few showers. That's enough out of it yeah. like yeah even if you take a if you take two or three showers it's plenty yeah we include let's see usually hospital beds have the plug in the bed oh that's cool i don't remember if mine did or not that's probably true i don't remember that um so anyways, I'm happy to answer any other specific questions. If not, I'm going to keep showing you guys a couple of the other things up here. You probably can't see it, but we include honey sticks, which is one of kind of our like signature and interesting inclusions that we throw in. Um, you probably know that you're not allowed to eat anything um, when you're in labor at the hospital. And um, sometimes your labor can be quite long and that can be really difficult. So we include honey sticks as a kind of quick shot of energy. Um, it's, it's a great way to provide you with um, some natural energy um, that, you know, is kind of hospital friendly because it's not really food in your system. So we throw two of those in. Um, 
And yes, Chelsea, we do have a discount code. So if you guys use the discount code Prego Expo 21, I'm going to put it in right now. Yes. Yes, you can have honey. Um, they're not they're not going to say no. It's not really like you're chowing down on a P PB and J, right? So it's it's quick. It's it's um, not one that I think that they're going to give you a hard time about. At least they and not in our experiences. Hey Megan, Alita was asking if you could show a close up of the socks. Sure. Yeah. These are grip. I think socks. we're okay on time, um, only because. Um, the next is the open sessions, but that doesn't start until six. So okay, oh, I good. say we just I say we just keep talking until I've, I've, we've showed it all, and and we, unless we get cut off. <laughs> okay, great, um, awesome. I was like really rushing there because I thought any second now I was gonna get the hook. You did great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hook. Okay, so um, uh, the code. Oh yeah, sorry. No, it's okay, Milana. the The code will is good through the end of August. Yeah, and that's a ten percent off your order for that code, Prego Expo Twenty One. Um, so yep. someone, so on the grip socks, these are like again, kind of one size fits all. They really do um, stretch out well, so they'll they'll fit any foot. Um, and uh, they're just like a simple kind of heathered gray see the color better there and then they say the strong as a mother on them let's see do you have other colors not of the grip socks so um so yeah well that's part of you know we wanted to keep everything kind of as neutral as possible um and then also it helps us with with pre-packing to kind of um keep a, a consistency in all of our hospital bags and that's you know that also helps us kind of pass on uh, savings to you guys. So guys, there's a lot of value in this bag is we're able to obviously pack things and, and buy larger order quantities for you. And so if you were to go out and buy all of this retail and put it in your bag, you're going to spend a lot more than what, um, than what we're charging. And that's because we're kind of passing on those savings to you. So part of that is kind of, you know, make, uh, keeping some things a little bit more on the standard side, if that makes sense. Um, Let's see, where do you buy slipper socks? You mean these grip socks? I mean, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, three sizes come in the same bag. Do you mean three sizes? Oh, of the shoes? Are she talking about the, shoe, the shower sandals? You can oh. choose when you're at checkout. You choose the color of your bag if you choose the happy medium or the fully prepared and the size for your shower sandal and we pack it accordingly and ship that to you. Yeah, so then, so let me clarify on this, it's one size. The shower sandals we do offer various sizes because we don't want you to yes. strip. Like you can't, that's a hard thing mm -hmm. to fit to everybody. No, so this looks really no. Adri cool. Adriana, I mean, dude. No, um, no, you choose from one of the, th one of the three, the minimalist, the happy medium, or the fully prepared. So you choose which bag suits your needs and your budget the best. Yet, it's all in the same. This is the bag. They're all the same bag, if that's what you're asking. So, yeah, yeah. Right. The, the bag is the bag. same. If a fully prepared, it comes in this bag. I'm wondering if that's good question. Let us know if that's yeah, that, a good yeah. question. Prizes. We, prizes actually, we don't have any prizes. Okay. We're so lame. We don't have any price, price, maybe price it, pricing of the bag. Prices. Oh, okay. Hopefully that's what she's asking because we didn't do any prizes. We don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> prices are, so the minimalist bag retails at 120 the happy medium retails at 170 and the fully prepared at 225. Okay, yes, you meant price is awesome. Um, so I didn't really explain this well, and I'm sorry I was going so fast, but if if you look up here, this is like the tier of the minimalist. So these are your essential items that are all come in the minimalist bag. 
And then you're fully prepared. And I, now I've taken things away, which includes your phone charger. Um, all that's the happy medium tier is this next tier, which includes shower shoes. <laughs> and then your fully prepared uh, bag includes all four tiers plus the robe and the nursing cover. So Natalie put the retail prices in there and then, um, mm -hmm. and then you'll get your 10% off mm -hmm. discount too. Yes. All right. Any other awesome. questions that I need to answer from anyone or that I missed? No, I think you covered it all. And the question. Oh, I think I lost you, Natalie. Or maybe that's me. Can I order the minimal minimalist and just add on robes? So we don't have that as an option right now um, to add on the robe. But what you could do is add, order a minimalist and add on the labor gown. Um, and it's called a mama gown on our site. I, like I said, I don't actually have one here to show you. Um, but but those are those are. Um, just like really soft kind of uh, knee length gowns that have snaps right here that you pull sh can unbutton um, for nursing. And it has snaps down the back so they're hospital friendly because they can easily be removed. Um, and so those you can add on to any of the tiered bags. We don't actually have a way to add on this, this robe. It's just in the fully prepared bag. But great question. Thank you. Thanks, Tanya. Any other questions that anyone in the in here has right now that I can answer? Um, let's see if there's anything that we missed in the Q&A over here. I don't think so. Yeah, no problem on that. Um, okay, so the only other thing that I didn't really point out that I'm gonna show you guys just up here is you see up there, these are cute boxes that these come in. And so the reason I'm showing you that is because these really are super giftable. So, um, you know, if, if you uh, are maybe in here because you're with, um, would you recommend it for a gift? Yes, which, which one? Um, Honestly, all of them, I think, are super nice gifts because it really already starts the process for them. Even if you're doing the minimalist and they want to add in a few things of their own, they can. It gets them started. It gives them the bag. It gives them sort of the checklist of anything else they want to add on. So I think a minimalist is a really nice gift. But, of course, our fully prepared is always, like, it's far and away our most popular product that we offer. Um, so... It's really, I think what the fully prepared does is really kind of just checks it off the list. But I still, again, I think if, you know, from a, from a gifting standpoint, all is great. And then if someone were to buy a minimalist or a heavy medium, or you were to gift it as a friend, we do throw in a discount code. Um, if you want to like kind of upgrade your bag, there's that option and we can like send you a bundle of the additional items if someone wanted to buy it for themselves the additional items do you have an option of purchasing the items without the weekend bag no and i'm so sorry danielle we we don't um maybe we should i haven't thought about that <laughs> um so no right now it, it all comes in the bag but thanks for asking that. Any other questions, ladies? Those are such amazing questions. Thank you guys so much. We have like, as you can, as you can tell, I love our little strong as a mother quote. And we do a couple other things that are bold as a mother, but this is the reusable water bottle that we threw in. Um, and we also include, I didn't know if I said this already, massage ball. It's, um, this is like a really like 
this is thrown in basically to give your uh, husband or partner potentially something to do. Um, it's a great way to like relieve some some pain is they can kind of massage that out for you um, and, and kind of like takes your focus if you're having like labor pains, maybe you're having back labor pains, um, they can massage that out for you and it gives them something to do, which sometimes is, is needed. Um, can we see? Yes. So this is the changing pad that we include in all of our bags. Um, it's a pretty good size. It's wipeable. If you can't tell, it's kind of like that really sheen um, on the inside. It's like to kind of hold it up here. It definitely works for like a grown baby. Um, oh, sorry. I'm, I, I thought that was an additional question on this. So um, again, this comes in the minimalist bag and up. So all the bags get one of these. And we see that as kind of the way to um, give the product life beyond, um, give the bag life beyond just your labor. So you can really take it um, for a weekend or away again. It's like a large diaper bag, any of that. And then I'll show you this up close. This also comes in it. It's like a matching cosmetic case. So whichever bag you buy, if you buy the teal, then this cosmetic case is teal to match it. All right, I missed a couple questions, I think. Let me scroll up here. Or something to throw at them if they fall asleep. <laughs> totally. Oh my God. They cannot fall asleep. That is not okay. <laughs> um, okay, you got the codes good till the end of August. Yes, overpacking. Oh my gosh. This, anytime I see people post like, oh, I'm packing my hospital bag, and they have like, they brought their entire house. Do not do it. You'll like, it's just, it's so unnecessary and it makes it harder actually. So yes. And I'm with you, Alexandria. I'm an overpacker too. So I get how that happens, but, but yeah, um, this, like, this is not a time when you want to have to like, remember more things. Yes. The, t the toiletries, Shane. So let me show you guys there. This is pharmacopoeia. So we really tried hard um, to make sure every single item in this bag is non-toxic. So um, the pharmacopoeia ones, actually, they're made with organic aloe vera. We get really good feedback on all of these. And they're meant for, um, for sensitive skin. They're really gentle. And that's, that. the pharmacopoeia is what all of the, um, Shampoo, conditioner, soap, all of that is. Then we also provide um, facial towelettes. So like if you're laying in bed and you don't want to get up, but just kind of want a quick refresh, this is great for that. And it's Burt's Bees. So it's like 99.98.5%, you know, natural, you know, plant-based. And then I didn't point this out before too, but we also throw in dry shampoo. So if again, quick refresh, you know, I even have to get up and that first picture with baby, if you just want to, you know, um, soak up the sweat in your hair and feel good, um, we throw that in. Let's see. Can we also see? Oh yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to catch up here. So say it again. If I missed it, see the inside of the bag. Absolutely. So this is the inside of the gray bag. Oops. I wish my lighting was better. Here, I'm just trying to capture the light. Okay, so it's got the big pockets. You can see that they're the big four elastic pockets. It's got a D opening, so it stays upright like that and open, which I love. It's one of my favorite features on it. It's got a small little zipper pocket thrown in keys or whatever. And it has two of the bottle, let me turn it this way, two of the bottle pockets on the side here. So things can kind of stand up there, two bottle pockets on either side. And then on the back, we include a wet dry pocket. So that again, this is thinking beyond your labor or even like dirty clothes from the hospital you can throw in here because this is wipeable. It's the same material as the changing bag. And then this is a magnetic closed, just additional front pocket. And again, nylon, so everything's wipeable. 
And then it's got like the little feet on the bottom with your vegan leather. leather. And then the inside of the teal bag is exactly the same, except it's um, the complementing brown color like that. Okay, let's see. Does the bag have, so I answered that. We've got compartments, lots of compartments. 10% um, uh, off on the discount. Oh, a loofah, Bruna, that's a really good idea. Yeah, we don't have a loofah in there, but that's not a bad idea. You will get washcloths at the at the um, hospital. They typically will provide a uh, washcloth. Okay, so I just showed you, yeah, the teal bag um, has the brown on the inside, not the teal. I feel like I missed other questions while I was talking. Maybe throw them in again if I missed your question. You, I'm telling you, you will not be sorry. I, we have 100% five-star reviews, 100%. Um, if you're not happy, we'll make it right. You just let us know. Um, I'm sure these are 100 yes. <laughs> 100% better than what the hospital is going to get you. So, so like, for example, you're going to get um, a lot of um, pads, right? Like the hospital is going to set you up with some of that stuff. But we throw in um, Rayel organic cotton maxi pads. And we do that as a as an opportunity for you to try a brand that we feel like is better than um, what the hospital is going to give you. And, um, it, if it's something that you either wear at the hospital or you take home with you, it's an opportunity for you to, um, test a new product that you might continue to love, you know, through your postpartum and beyond. Um, so, so this is really, you know, this is for the very, um, brand, not brand, but quality conscious person as well, right? Like we, we're not just going to throw in something that's cheap. It's really the best of the best. Um, yes, add it to your registry um, baby list. If you have a baby list registry, you can add us. Um, do we anticipate any change? Okay, good question. Hold hold tight. We are introducing some new colors. So if they will not, they are on order and they should be here. Um, you know, pro I would say like we'll be shipping them out in the month of July. So if that works for your schedule and you want to potentially um, order one of the new colors, then I wanted to show them to you really quick. And also good to know if like if and if you um, decide to order now, either gray or teal and, you know, want to do a gift for someone later on. These are our new colors that we're offering. So. We are introducing a black, and it's got that same kind of um, dark brown that's with the teal, and it has, let me show you the inside, our signature teal on the inside, which is really fun. It's super cute. Yeah, I know. It, we both, Natalie and I, when it came, we were like, oh, we love it even more than we thought we were going to love it. So, so this one, like I said, you can keep up with us. We're going to keep you posted on when they're going to be available. Um, it could be as early as like late June, but I would say to be safe, probably not till July. And then the other one we're offering at that time is this really fun floral pattern, which I totally am digging. And it's like this navy with the navy on the inside and um, with these like really sweet kind of watercolor pink and like olive green flowers. So yeah, this one's super cute too. So I think these are both gonna be really popular. So yeah, if you have a little bit of time and wanna hold, wait for those colors, we will, um, yes, the flowers, I know it's so cute, I love it. Um, any other questions? Thank you guys, oh thanks, that's so nice. Appreciate you guys and the feedback. Good, yay! This is like the first time we've shown anyone. Actually, you just got like the sneak peek. Natalie's probably like, "Why did you show them that? We didn't talk about that." <laughs> but you got the sneak peek. We're really excited about them. Um, 
And so, yeah, so if you, we ship out, just so to give you an idea of timeline, we ship out um, all orders in like one to three days typically. And then we ship UPS ground that's free shipping on all UPS ground orders, takes anywhere like three to five days. Um, and then a, um, a there's options to do next day air or second day air if you need it. Um, but that's it. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Well, I think we're probably going to get booted off. So we really appreciate everyone dropping in. And if you have any, any more questions, please feel free to um, send us a chat um, at our at our booth or shoot us an email. We're hello at babyboldly.com. Uh, follow us on Instagram at, or Facebook and um, definitely, you know, message us. We're really quick to respond on there, too, if you have anything. Um, if you have any, will this be a, or can you order as soon as? Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. We're, I, we think we're going to do a pre-order of the new colors, but we haven't quite figured it out yet. So TBD. <laughs> um, and then we'll let you guys know. But yeah, definitely keep in touch with us. If we can answer any more questions, please tell us. Um, and uh, we just appreciate everyone coming in. And best of luck to all of you mamas on, with your births. Um, you know, whether you've got a belly and bag or not, like just wish you all the very best and, um, comfortable, healthy birth experiences and, um, congratulations and, uh, welcome to mamahood. So, um, I'm going to get off of here, but it was great chatting with everyone and we'll hope to see you soon.